So I was 18 years old and I wanted this Mitsubishi Eclipse. Uh, so I started saving money and I kept on saving. However, I was so afraid of losing the money that I would eventually lose the money. Whether it was a bad investment on my part or whether it was me having to help out the family with some sort of financial situation, I never had enough money. After time, I was able to save about $3,000. And I realized quickly that I wasn't gonna have the money to pay for a $30,000 car. Um, and I needed instant gratification. So I figured I'd pimp out my 1990 240SX with some brand new 17 inch rims that had just come out on the market. Now these 17 inch rims cost $3,000. So yes, the rims did cost more than the car. Man, but when we put these rims on this car, I was like the happiest kid. And I remember driving around that day and I was like, I thought I was just the coolest kid. And uh, when I got out of work that day, uh, I drove home and as I parked my car and got out of my car, um, I felt a gun against my head. And uh, yes, I, I was getting carjacked. And uh, luckily, I didn't get shot, but the guy did take, take off with my car and the rims that I had just spent my entire savings on. Now, I did find the car, but as you can imagine, it was completely stripped. Now, I had to patch that thing together with parts from the junkyard just so I can drive it. A few days later, I find out I'm getting laid off. So now I have no job, no savings, and a car that barely runs. To make matters worse, I had to drive past that Mitsubishi dealership every day. So now I was spiraling into negativity. I was upset at everyone and everything. When all of a sudden, a little voice in my head asked, Edwin, what are you so afraid of? You've always somehow managed to get to the top. Why don't you just get your car and not worry about it? If anything, this will make you work harder so you're not just collecting unemployment. And either way, some way, somehow, someone's gonna hire you and you're gonna get a great job because people are gonna love you. So I went to the dealership and bought the car. A week later, the company that had laid me off called me, offered me another job, a better job with better pay. Now, it wasn't until eight years later that I realized that this experience was one of the most important lessons of my life. The lesson, most people wait to have to then take action to then become. I kept waiting to have and save the money so then I could take action. And because I could never save enough money, I never took action. Therefore, I was never able to get the Eclipse. I was able to obtain the Eclipse because I had become. When that little voice asked me, why are you so afraid? And then told me how no matter what, I've always figured out a way to get to the top. No matter what, someone's always gonna hire you because you're that good. I, right there, had become. I felt I was worth $100,000. And that's where it starts. Because I felt that I was worth $100,000, that is why I went into that dealership that day and took action and bought the car. Because I wasn't worried about me not being able to find a job. Now, when you take action, you are activating faith. You are now causing God to act and make the impossible into a reality. All the things that you can't understand, like for instance, I am 100% sure the reason I got called back the next week and I got offered a better job was because I took action and I believed in myself. The universe starts working to making those things that you thought were impossible into a reality. Have 
That's when you give the date on when you're going to have, when you're going to reach that goal. You need to make sure that you have a date next to that goal that you're going for. Because if you don't, then it just becomes a dream and you will continue to procrastinate on that dream. The date, you have to treat it as if it was a death, a life or death situation. No matter what, no excuses. When that date comes, you're going to complete that goal. Oh, 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 oh,